welcome to this advanced level of the Windows Server 2025 video series. In this video, we'll focus on how the needs of SMB customers can be addressed with combined solutions from Microsoft and HPE. The key features of Windows Server 2025 that differ from Windows Server 2022 and the associated benefits are also discussed so that you can help your customers when they are considering the transition. Before we can position the solutions, it is necessary to understand the needs we are addressing. So we'll start by considering the drivers and challenges that typically apply to SMB customers. Some key business drivers include improved security, business agility, efficiency, and to embrace AI to help drive innovation. In this module, we'll focus on some of these drivers in more detail and uncover the challenges that an SMB customer may face when considering the solutions available. Challenges include strengthen their security posture by safeguarding their data wherever it resides and enhancing organizational resilience. Optimize and drive business agility. Extend their data center to Azure, improve performance, efficiency, and embrace AI-driven innovation. Starting with security, we know that all businesses will be concerned with strengthening their security posture by safeguarding data wherever it resides. Employees need to be able to work from anywhere. Even if some of the employees are in the office or a hybrid workspace, this is the way that many businesses operate, allowing for flexibility in terms of where people work. Data breaches remain a constant concern for all businesses. They need solutions that can protect them from breaches and attacks and want to ensure they are secure and resilient against attacks and that their critical applications can run without interruption. So enhancing organizational resilience is a key driver. Efficiency and business agility are also key drivers. Keeping costs low is a natural desire for all business types but is often of critical importance to SMBs. At the same time, they need to respond rapidly to changes in the business landscape and to react to their customers' needs. To do this, they may have initiatives to improve performance, increase efficiency, embrace AI-driven innovation, and of course, one way to achieve these is to extend their data center to Azure. In summary, customers need technology that can support their businesses with security, innovation, cost savings, modernization, agility, and resiliency. When businesses adopt technology that enhances their security and empowers them with AI-based innovations, they embark on a journey we call digital transformation. The combined solutions from HPE and Microsoft help SMB customers to modernize their IT infrastructure to support new innovations and gain competitive advantage. When choosing a vendor, SMBs select those with a complete and sustained portfolio, commitment and breadth of the platforms and support services are all key. HPE and Microsoft have been working together to drive customer success in the digital age so that partners can confidently offer a complete portfolio addressing customers' needs. HPE offers ready-made configurations covering the most common SMB workloads. These include fully configured HPE ProLiant servers and can include HPE networking and storage too. They also include the suitable Windows Server 2025 license, most solutions having the standard 16-core base license. Before we take a more detailed look at some of the workload solutions, let's discuss the benefits of Microsoft Windows Server 2025 compared with Microsoft Windows Server 2022. There are many features and benefits of Microsoft Windows Server 2025. So this is just a brief summary of some of the ones you may wish to highlight when discussing this with your customers. As we look at some of the features, we will compare them with Microsoft Windows Server 2022 and Microsoft Windows Server 2019 so that you can discuss the benefits of upgrading. Public and private sectors continue to suffer major data breaches at an average cost of $4.35 million in 2022. 
As cybersecurity threats escalate and the cost of incidents grow, security continues to be a top priority for customers. Windows Server 2025 includes enhanced security features with secured core server and secure connectivity. Secured Core Server brings together powerful threat protections for multi-layer security across hardware, firmware and the operating system. Hot patching allows you to secure the platform running your apps without downtime. Active Directory, known as AD, provides a framework for managing and securing a network's distributed resources. AD organizes and centrally manages network objects in a hierarchical structure, including users, computers, servers, and printers. It integrates security through logon authentication and access control to objects in the directory. AD is a critical component for management and authentication in organizations. Windows Labs helps organizations manage local administrator passwords on their domain-joined computers. It automatically generates unique passwords for each computer's local administrator account, stores them securely in AD, and updates them regularly. Secured connectivity adds an additional layer of security during transport for advanced protection. This includes improvements to Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, known as HTTPS, Transport Layer Security, and Secure Message Block. Hyper-V is Microsoft's hypervisor used to power Azure, Azure Local Solutions, Windows, and Windows Server. It is used for virtualization, security, containers, and AI enablement. Microsoft Windows Server 2025 has many new additional features to support a range of storage configurations and requirements, such as Storage Replica Enhanced Log, Thinly Provisioned Storage Spaces Direct, and the ability to convert fixed to thin provisioned volumes. Customers can extend their data centers to Azure for greater IT efficiency. They can take advantage of cloud innovation with their on-premises investments while enjoying improved tools to help manage servers wherever they are. There has been an ongoing focus on the Windows Server desktop experience. You can highlight Windows Server Upgrade supports N-4 upgrades, where N is a major version. For example, upgrading from Windows Server 2012 to Windows Server 2025. OEM customers using Microsoft Windows Server 2012, 2016, 2019 or 2022 must purchase new OEM licenses for Microsoft Windows Server 2025 and use fresh installation media. For customers that use containers, new features include Container Base Image Portability ABI. This allows customers to run Windows Server 2022 containers on Windows Server 2025 without upgrading the base image, and other improvements that reduce image size and the performance improvements made to the networking control path to reduce latency, increase throughput, and improve reliability. We will now take a more detailed look at some of the workload's solutions. Remember, these may vary, so be sure to check for the most recent solutions using tools such as HPE Seismic. Companies that need to make sure people can work efficiently from any location can achieve this by providing a remote virtual desktop experience. Remote access is safe and secure and without compromise to performance or restriction of features. Businesses can stay in control of their on-premises data and applications, avoiding data loss from stolen or lost laptops and other devices. Files and data are stored centrally on a secure server to protect data and preserve version control. This provides the reliability and performance workers need to be productive while keeping things simple for IT and ensuring sensitive data is protected. The solution elements include HPE ProLiant rack and tower server configurations capable to meet a wide variety of SMB-sized RDS and VDI requirements. 
they are based on a variety of independent software vendor platforms like Microsoft Remote Desktop Service so that customers have a freedom of choice. The current solutions include high-performance configurations featuring AMD Gen 10 plus V2 and Gen 11 HPE ProLiant servers. Businesses that wish to get more from their IT will enjoy the efficiencies that come with consolidating workloads and data onto powerful HPE, ProLiant Gen 10 and Gen 11 servers. For companies with multiple departments and varying needs, a virtualization solution avoids IT resource conflicts by offering dedicated environments. Virtualization technology enables easy migration of workloads across multiple servers to protect against sudden outage. Customers can benefit from the power and flexibility of multiple servers, but with the space and budget of a single server using our virtualization solution. The solution elements include HPE ProLiant Micro Tower, Tower or Rack servers. Options include Microsoft Hyper-V and customers can manage virtualization with Windows Admin Center, known as WAC, which comes ready to use and at no additional cost. The current solutions include high-performance configurations featuring AMD Gen 10 Plus V2 and Gen 11 HPE ProLiant servers. Depending on the number of VMs needed, the appropriate edition of Windows Server 2025 is included, standard or data center. Additional VMs may be added in increments of two VMs by relicensing the total number of physical cores in the server. Keep in mind that the minimum number of cores for licensing is 16, so for most of the HPE SMB solutions, the customer would need an additional 16 core standard license to increase the number of VMs that are supported. As a reminder, if your customer wants to run more than six concurrent VMs, then Data Center Edition might work out at a lower cost. You can use the Windows Server Core Licensing Calculator if you need to calculate the number of base and additional licenses required for a solution. Adding optional Microsoft Azure Virtual Machines and Azure Backup helps to create a flexible hybrid cloud foundation giving your customers the ability to extend virtual machines into the cloud for greater capacity and to protect VMs with a robust cloud-based business continuity plan. Companies that would suffer if their IT becomes suddenly unavailable will benefit from the reduced chance of unexpected interruptions with these solutions. The HPE SMB solutions for HCI are easy to scale up as needed to meet increasingly demanding workloads. Where storage growth is a concern, HCI solutions are an excellent low-cost alternative to traditional storage array networking, or SAN, which is both complex and expensive. An HCI solution can keep business critical data and applications running, as it can withstand losing an entire server. The solution elements are based on multiple servers in an HCI cluster that can pool their internal storage together to form a redundant, highly available virtualization platform base. This can be based on Microsoft Windows Hyper-V. HCI servers are building blocks. Starting with as few as two servers, an HCI solution can be expanded on demand. These solutions include Windows Server data center licenses, so the customers can benefit from the software-defined storage provided by Microsoft Storage Spaces Direct. If an HCI solution is appropriate for your customer, then remember that Microsoft Azure might be a suitable solution. Azure Local enables customers to operate infrastructure across distributed locations enabled by Azure Arc and provides a range of solutions to meet different business needs. Go to HPE Seismic for more information. For customers that have a growing volume of data with no formalized disaster recovery process, the HPE SMB solutions for backup and recovery may be a good fit. These solutions can mitigate against the disastrous impacts of data loss due to threats such as ransomware and data corruption due to physical causes, 
or disaster events. They can also help to archive data to long-term storage at a lower cost and preserve data to meet regulatory requirements. The solutions are based on HPE, ProLiant Gen 10 and Gen 11 rack and tower server configurations that are optimised for application workloads in a variety of sizes. Microsoft Windows Server 2025 is included so there is no additional software cost and it is easily integrated with Microsoft Azure for a hybrid cloud solution. The HPE SMB solutions for database and applications addresses the needs of customers suffering from poor database or application performance and who also wish to control and secure their data. Businesses can stay in control of their databases and applications with solutions that are hosted and stored on the central on-site location, ensuring compliance with any regulation or business needs. Database solutions are configured to minimise the cost of database software licensing. The solution elements include HPE ProLiant Gen 10 and Gen 11 rack and tower server configurations optimised for database workloads in a variety of sizes suited for SMBs. One of the many configuration options is an on-premises shared storage solution with an HPE MSA storage array. This provides a highly available on-premises or hybrid cloud platform for larger databases or those with high availability requirements and HPE Store Easy Storage delivers affordable, easy to configure, low touch maintenance and scalable file storage designed for growing SMBs. The security features of HPE ProLiant and Microsoft Windows Server 2025 protect against attacks and help quick recovery from unplanned downtime. Each of these use cases addresses the need of growing businesses but focused on specific workloads. When choosing a solution, it should meet the specific workload, but in all cases, security is a pain point. HPE and Microsoft work together to provide advanced security features using the features already included in HPE ProLiant Server and Microsoft Windows Server 2025. By combining secure hardware, firmware and operating system features, servers are protected against advanced threats. Customers are supported from the very outset with pre-installation services, rapid setup and licensed migration as requirements grow. If your customer is not yet ready for Windows Server 2025 but wishes to run the earlier 2022 version, perhaps due to legacy applications, then you can still sell Windows Server 2025 as it comes with downgrade rights. This allows customers to run the earlier version now and then move to Windows Server 2025 when they are ready without any additional cost. At the time you sell the ROC license, the downgrade kit can be requested free of charge. This will include media and the activation keys. Alternatively, your customer can request a downgrade by completing an online form and submitting proof of purchase. Visit HPE Seismic for more information about Windows Server 2025 and licensing. HPE Seismic can be accessed via a direct link or from the HPE Partner Ready portal using your Partner Ready credentials. Just type Windows Server 2025 in the search box to find related collateral. You can now take the assessment that follows this module.